Hey guys, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness, and I'm going to show you guys a really awesome way to do lashings using 50% less cordage. If you've ever been in the bush and you've been doing some shelter building, um, you'll find out that it takes a lot of cordage to lash all your joints together for any type of permanent shelter. Um, in a true survival situation, if cordage is limited and you need to do some lashing of poles together, you really need some alternative options. And so that's how I designed this lashing for you guys. But don't get me wrong, there are some shelter builds that don't take any cordage at all, and I'll show those in a shelter building series. But let's just focus on this um, lashing, which I'm going to call the tourniquet lashing. Here are two sections of bank line cordage that I had uh, lashed these two PVC pipes together with. And this amount of cordage here was um, used for a square lashing traditionally where you start with a clove hitch or constrictor knot, do your lashing, your frapping, and then end with a constrictor or clove hitch knot. Again, very traditional way of doing it. And this is 72 inches of bank line cordage. Here, I have 37 inches of bank line cordage in a loop and I can tell you that in terms of strength these are identical so which way are you going to choose in a pinch are you going to choose 50 percent less cordage I, th I think you would so how you do this is just extremely simple all it is is a tourniquet so let's go ahead and get rid of this and all you do is just set your loop down now to make your loop you have to do some type of joining knot and I can show those in later uh, videos but look up a fisherman's knot or a double sheet bend to make your loop. After you've made your loop you just put one spar down bring both halves up together just to make this loop here and then slide your other spar straight through. So there we go. We have it, this is just a traditional way of, of looking at a lashing. Now the difference is we need our tourniquet bar. So I've got this piece here. Go straight in in parallel with your top bar, and then you guessed it. We just start doing the tourniquet wrap. So, wrap it once. And twice. And there you have it. This, if you can hear that, you can almost play guitar on this. This is extremely tight. And you see it has no frapping turns or the turns that go in between the two poles to really cinch down on this line. This tourniquet bar is cinching down on it and making this line extremely tight. And so, you know, this is really, really strong. Now, what you can do is, if you want to make this more bomb proof, um, or actually essentially you have to, is either get some other sticks to make sure that this is wedged tight or just get another small piece of cordage and just tie one of the ends to your spar so this doesn't, this tourniquet bar doesn't unravel here. So <laughs> really awesome bomb proof way to do a square lashing with 50% less cordage. Go ahead, try it out, super easy. Um, and I hope you uh, get out there and find this not useful. Thanks for watching On Point Preparedness.